Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and we're going to play some Space Hulk. And so I'm going to do a probably maybe a Let's Play series of this. Maybe I might just play some of the campaign. I might play some multiplayer. I really don't know yet because I've only played a little bit of this game. Now I did screen the game beforehand to make sure it was something that I would like. And so far what I can see, I do enjoy the game. However, would I recommend it to people who don't know what Space Hulk the board game is? I don't know. The jury's still out. We'll have to see. But if you love the board game, you'll probably like this game. So let's go take a look here. We're just going to go into the campaign. Hopefully all my audio settings are correct. If they're not, I apologize. I will make adjustments throughout the videos. So we can do the boarding prequel, which is recommended for new players. It's basically a tutorial. I don't know if I want to do it because I did it at home already and they're really straightforward. So I think I'll just jump into the actual campaign. So let's grab this. And uh, if you've played Space Hulk, then you'll recognize a lot of these missions, if not all of them. So let's just jump right into it. There is it. a large bank of functioning escape pods in a sector well beyond our established perimeter. The enemy must not escape. Cleanse the control room. No matter the cost, this will be done. And just remember, this is not a high Sergeant budget. The squad, budget. Budget. Your orders. It is. You command one oh, sorry, he keeps talking. It's not a high budget game. So when you see the graphics and stuff, just realize that. I'm just going to skip this. Basically, you start in one spot and you got to get to the, the command room and destroy it with your flamer. So the flamer has to stay alive. And you've also got Sergeant Lorenzo. He's um, a heavy hitter. So I'm going to put him second. You've got to have your, your regular bolter guy right there. And then. Um, Brother Zale, or whatever you say, he'll be the flamer. He'll be in the middle because he's got to be protected. I know he has a really powerful weapon, but if he dies, then the mission's over. So that's just it. You can also click this button here for strategic view, which is basically just a really, really simple graphical view of the tiles and all the rooms and stuff. So let's do it. Let's deploy. Look at that. No deep strike or no uh, deep strike mishap. Of course, I generated one command point. Now, if you're not, I'll. I'll I'll talk a little bit about how the game works, but I'm not going to do a full tutorial on all of that. Essentially, everybody has four action points, plus you have a pool of command points, which are essentially extra action points that anybody can use. They can also be used in the enemy turn to unjam your gun, which you'll see. And whenever your squad leader, Sergeant Lorenzo, is still alive, you can re-roll this. This, this mimics the board game in pretty much every way. Over here in this console in the bottom right, you'll actually see what you roll. So it actually rolls D6s for you. And so here we rolled only one command point, so we can't go anywhere but up. So there we go. I'm going to re-roll that and get five. So you want to keep Lorenzo alive for no other reason than just to be able to re-roll your command points because they are essential. So I'll have this guy move up. And um, he's got to open the door. You can also shoot the doors, but in this case, it's not that big. No, no real reason to do that. Now I've got to watch out for gene stealers. Basically, I got to get up to here, but in the red places are where the gene stealers can come in. So I'm going to need to cover this corridor with Overwatch. Overwatch is basically you set your guy, and then if anybody moves in front of him, he can shoot. But there's a chance of his gun jamming, and then he has to use command points to unjam it. And then the rest of my squad will be advancing until they're far enough, then the rear guard can come back. So, but I don't want to leave my good guy is exposed, so I'm going to use this front guy to move forward. And I'm not too worried about Gene Steelers this first turn. They're not even on the board yet. I could have been shooting at this door to save me uh, using an extra point. But um, yeah, I'm just going to move him up to the corridor. Because nobody's going to be fighting me this turn. And the nice thing, now, one thing I don't like is that you can't skip the animations. Like, you got to sit there and watch them move. But the nice thing is you can move on to the next guy and tell him where to go. So at least you can kind of chain them and then watch them all go at the same time. So it's turn-based, for sure, but, you know, kind of fun stuff here. So I'm going to put this guy over here. Actually, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to do that. Ah! There was no way to unclick that. That was a waste. Now he's going to be looking the wrong way. And that's my flamer guy, too, so he wasn't even supposed to go there. Oh, well, I'm out of command point, so we'll just end the turn. So this is where you get to see where they kind of come in. So you just see a blip. So this can be anywhere from one to three gene stealers. Oh, oh. Oh, that's bad news. Bad news bears. And so what I need to do is I need to move this guy out of the way. And then this guy, I can target something to fire at while moving. And then I'll tell him to move here and turn this way. So you can see his view from here. And they really suck at breaking down doors when they move. 
So when he turns, he should fire at the door. There, I opened it. Nothing shall stand between us and the enemy. And so this door is closed as well. So this guy is definitely going to need to go on Overwatch and then just hope that he does not get overwhelmed. So that's why I'll need a lot of command points left over to make sure nobody can get through. So this can go bad. This can go bad really fast. Stay alert, brothers. I could move him out of the way, put the uh, flamethrower guy there because he can lay down flames that stay there. They persist. Well, since we know the no gene sealers are coming this way, we can just do a quick advance up. Once again, keeping flamethrower dude. I'm going to use this guy as backup for this guy. So he's going to come here and turn. I'm not going to put him on overwatch because I really want to keep those four command points. So he's got two left. So they can, kind of, they can go diagonally. It only costs them one. But it costs them two to go sideways or backwards. And then I have four command points left. Everybody's used all their regular action points. Um, and so I'm going to save those four command points because that is a lot of gene stealers. So let's see how lucky I get. Target. Obviously here they come. Looks like Target. we've got seven gene stealers. Oh, one down. So, so far so good. No doubles. Roll a six and a five and a six and a four. Oh wow, I'm getting really lucky here. Wow, super lucky. That's... I haven't even jammed yet. I think I've killed almost... See how far that one got? See, he got all the way up to here. Yeah, see, my gun jammed right there. So he spent an a that command point. Oh! Wow, jeez. If I was a Tyranid player there, that would be frustrating. Alright, so now we got him coming from other places. So that was a good start. Very good start. Generated a five command points this turn. Definitely don't want to re-roll that. I'll basically re-roll anything that's three or less. Because if you roll something, if it's three, then you have a two-thirds chance getting equal to or greater than what you had. So it's worth the risk. Anything higher, four or higher, I think I will keep. It'll be too great a risk to not get it. So I need to cover both of these corridors because they will come down this side. See, this could be one, two, or three gene stealers. So I have this. I have one guy to block the one corridor, and then I have the other guy to block the other, and then the flamer will come up right behind him. Definitely just want to stick this guy back on Overwatch. Weapon at the ready. And the guy behind him will stick him on Overwatch too, just because... Just, just in case. Because, let's see, this guy can move one, two, three, four, five, and then six to kill him. I guess he doesn't need to go on Overwatch. So I can just leave him there, but, you know, why not put him on Overwatch? Weapon He's got the action ready. points for it. You. What am I going to do with you? How far can this guy go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or he could go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I can let's move up to here and stick them on Overwatch. That that will cost me a command point, but I've got lots of them, so I'm okay with that. Going into Overwatch. He's in Overwatch. And Commander Dude. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. He should be safe. I'm gonna leave him right there. We'll do haste. And then my flamethrower guy is just gonna move up as far as he can. I think that's all I'm going to do. So being very cautious here. I want to save those four command points just in case something goes really wrong over there. This guy, well, you know what? I'll use a couple. No, I'll, say I'll use three command points. No, I'll only use two command points unless I turn. So I'm just going to move them. Okay, hold on. Let's mark this door just in case he can. And I'm going to move him here. Yeah, and I'll just use, I'll just keep him facing that way, just because. Come on, get the door, get the door. Oh, didn't get the door. Oh well. That gene stealer was too, unless one one can appear right here. If there's three of them, they can appear up to here. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'll be in trouble. But he's the best at close combat, although he is facing the side. So hopefully I don't die. Well, here goes nothing. Hopefully he'll go down the overwatch. Oh, there's only one, and he went the overwatch path. Great. I was very fortunate there. Dumb AI. Oh, there's two gene sealers here. Failed to hurt him that one time. Got him there, though. My has jammed. And he jams, but he gets to use an action point. An roll double ones there. Basically, if you roll doubles, your bolter jams. Oh, here comes more. Oh, coming down that hallway now. See, now he's nice and close, so I only get a little bit of overwatch. 
CP generate, I generated five command points. Okay, I'll take that. Set that target, just in case. And then have him go uh, this way. So he'll turn, shoot, and if he makes that... Oh, no, he didn't shoot it. Just open the door. All right, never mind. And then flamethrower guy can go right behind him. Yes, my lord. Because he needs to get over here. We're almost there. It's not too hard a mission, but you just get a couple bad rolls and you're done. Now this is where I'm going to have this guy leave him because we're far enough ahead now. And the other guy will just stay back on Overwatch for one more turn. I think the Gene Seals will stop coming down there once they realize their real target isn't anywhere near it. And then this guy definitely needs to go on Overwatch. And then I've got five command points. So let's see, this guy could go. He could start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I could move up one and not worry about Overwatch. So I could save all the other ones for gun jams. Objective logged. Yeah, let's do that. And let's end the turn. And then just cross your fingers that you roll well. See, he goes by, but I failed. Oh! Oh no, a bolter malfunction. That's okay, I got command points for that. I just hope I don't die with Lorenzo. And he gets him, okay. My weapon has failed me. That's okay, we got action points. Oh, what happened? Oh, did I forget to put that other guy in Overwatch? I think I did. Oh no. That's bad news bears. Okay, I only generated two command points. Let's reroll that. I got three. Well, that's better than two. All right, hopefully we'll kill that guy. Oh, I got lucky. I think I actually... Did I forget to put him on Overwatch? See, now there's no gene stealers this way, so he can leave them alone. Oh, but there's lots of gene stealers down here. See, this is where it would almost have been good if Sergeant Lorenzo died. But, um... Oh, okay. We just got to do this. Come on. You do get a sustained fire bonus. If you fail to kill him the first time, you only need fives to kill him the next time. And I don't think it gets any better than that. There we go. Yes, he sustained kill on a five plus. Oh, there's three more of them. I think I'm in trouble. I could go on guard, because he's good in close combat. He gets plus one to his dice rolls in close combat, but you only get one die as a Space Marine Terminator, and I think on guard gives you two. It's been a little while since I played Space Hulk. Ugh. Only got three command points. This is tough. Oh, what if I gave them... See, I'll bring this guy up and put him on Overwatch. I just don't have enough command points. If I had like five or six command points, they will fall. no problem. All right, I think I just got to put this guy on guard. Stand your ground, brothers. And then just hope for the best. And then face him that way and put him on guard too. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Guard. Because he can't go on Overwatch. Alright, and this guy can go. And Overwatch won't really make a difference for him. So I just got one command point and everybody's on guard. Or Overwatch, except... Yeah, he's on Overwatch, right? Oh, he's not. That's right, because there's no Gene Stealers. All right, so let's bring him this way then. Moving ahead. And that will be the end of the turn. Okay, this is it. Can I survive those gene stealers? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Enemy Here they go. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, the other one came. Oh, Overwatch saved me. Come on. Oh, I got the one gene stealer. Six plus one, I'm on guard. Oh, so lucky so far. Okay, that was a tie. I think that was a tie. Oh! <sighs> Why do I get six plus one? What does on guard do? I'm really not sure what on guard does. Ooh, look at that. Achievement, red thirst. Oh, wow. Now I'm in trouble. Actually, that's just in the rear. I think that means I'm going to win. Because... Okay, 4 CP, I'll take that. Alright, let's see what I do with this guy first. Alright, I will take that. And then this guy basically needs to move up to here. To allow room for him to go... That's not what I said! Oh, 
stupid misclick. I don't have enough command points to make mistakes like that. I'll have him go right here. Objective don't have to worry about going on Overwatch because it's only Gene Steel is over here right now. So it's just this guy that has to worry about it. So let's have him go this mm. way. And then he'll go on Overwatch facing the opposite direction. Look how slow they turn. Yeah, I wish I could like click and skip the animation. But he's on Overwatch. I've only got two points left. This guy... I could have him turn around going over watch as well, just in case this guy gets clobbered. Yeah, let's just do that. Come on, turn around. Holy and overwatch, position. just in case. There's no gene sealers over here. I need to use one more command point, just to get my guy a little closer to the target. Alright, so here we go. Gene Steelers want to reveal themselves. The oh, there's only two of them. I can totally take this. Weapon jabbed. Weapon jabbed. I have one action point. Okay, the Gene Steelers are too far away. Why are they coming in that way? That's like the wrong way. This computer doesn't know how to play Space Hulk very well. All right, five command points. I think that means I'm going to win right now because there's four plus one, and then I fire, and then I win. That's it. Look at this. I'm going to win right now. Now it's just the first mission. But, you know. Boom, baby. Look at that. Lighting fire to the floor. That means I win. It is done. The fires have consumed the control in flame. The fires have consumed it no in flame. For the enemy. Death is all that awaits them. Okay. I'm glad the fires will consume them in flame. We have tasted victory. But this is only the beginning. The enemy will come. A counterattack is inevitable. We must stand against the tide and turn it back. At the cost of blood, at the cost of our lives, this must be done. The main hibernating cluster will soon be within our reach. All right, so we're Sergeant Terminators are all in separate rooms. You gotta kill all gene stealers or block Once all entries. Will be sufficient. You will be in the very midst of the enemy. Excuse me for the sniffling. Exterminate. All right, so we got an assault cannon now. So what do we got? We got Sergeant Gideon. Do they already deploy half my guys? What's going on? Or do I deploy one, then he deploys one? Okay, let's see. I gotta look at this differently now. Okay, so we gotta kill all the gene stealers. So we just gotta find good positions. The problem is like you get these where there's two corridors to watch. So there's two corridors to watch over there. And then on the other side, well, this is slow. There's also two corridors with doors. So we basically got to cover four corridors. And then I got an extra guy. But the problem is we're going to be spread out. So we won't necessarily easily be able to go down there. Your command. Oh, randomly placed terminators. Did I place one? I didn't place one, did I? Okay, so these two are already to place. So assault cannon guy. Is right here. Where's the other one? Come on. Where's the other one? I don't see the other one. Maybe I deploy one? No. Okay, I'm confused. Is he already here or is he going to be deployed without my consent? Alright, so let's just stick a bolter guy right here. Okay, I see now they're going to place another one. In position. All right, so I've got one, two over here. Where's the one I placed? Unless it doesn't show it yet. So then Sergeant Gideon. What, why can't I place it there? Is that a guy? I'm confused. All right, this is obviously a place I can deploy. Here we are. We walk with death. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. So there's our four. So this side is doing really well. 
So I could open that door, and then I could just stand back and go on Overwatch. This guy obviously needs to truck it down here as soon as possible. So let's just start with that, because there's nothing over here, and nobody can spawn. So it's going to take him some command points, because he's facing the wrong way. This guy's got to turn around. Which is going to take a couple action points. Then he's got to open the door. And then just for the funsies, I'll go on Overwatch right here. I've got four command points to work with. I forgot to actually. Oh, and he should have shot at this thing too. But oh well. Assault cannon, dude. Where do you want to go? We got this guy over here with a dead end. So he obviously wants to head this way, right? Yeah, these two are going to have to cover this. Oh, we got this guy as well. So he needs to go over here. That's a long walk. Looks like Assault Cannon Dude has to help on this side. All right, Assault Cannon Dude. You've only got 10 shots, and then you got to reload, so... Oh, the door automatically opened. Sweet. Unless that was part of the action point cost that I just showed. Knocking away shots and trying to shoot the door open. Uh, this guy, however, can. So we'll target this door and then have him turn around. Oh, he's going to back up. I should have him turn around first. Oh, well. He'll turn around and shoot the door. And maybe get lucky and won't have to use another action point. Nope. I rolled a three and a four. So let's just spend two more. Because he's got to get over there as soon as possible. Is this guy only close combat? He is. But he's got a thunder hammer and a shield. So I think that means he much harder to kill. So let's just, you know, he's going to be close combat. Let's just march him up into close combat. But he's going to need backup. So you just get up as far Moving as you out. can. And I think that's everybody. Oh, and this guy's got a chain fist. So he'll be able to open doors no problem. He is the designated door opener. All right, let's see where all the gene stealers come. Got some right there. Oh, just one blip. Only two CP. Let's reroll that. Oh, still only got two. So strategic view, we've got Gene Stealer right here. Wow, this thing goes slow. Come on. Come on, you can do it. And looks like one right here. So his Overwatch will be able to see down that hallway. I think it's infinite range for the Overwatch. But I could be wrong. It's been, like I said, it's been a little while since I played this game. Can you fire? Can you see all the way down there? Or is there a door blocking you? Oh, see, I can see him. So I don't really care about shooting that one because I might as well use my action points to... Uh, I'm just going to back up. Oh, he automatically shoots. Very nice. You are going to move forward. You can go back to guys just so you don't panic then, wondering why I did that. Let's have you, I've only got two command points, so let's save those. Save you go in Overwatch. Four. You need, oh, I don't want to use a command point to, just so I can open that door. You need to move as far as possible. And you, my friend, where do we want to go with you? That Gene Sealer can't get to me yet. So as long as he's on guard, he'll be fine. See, that's... And then this other guy can guard the other corridor. So I'm not too worried about my gun jamming yet. If that one gene stealer survives, it's not a big deal. So I'll have this guy actually come through here and open this door. And then that area will just be, like, unstoppable. And hopefully the other side will do fine. And if it doesn't, well, then the three of these guys can just camp this room and shoot down both corridors. So I think that's it. I've got one command point left. And let's see if his also, overwatch works. So here comes the gene stealers. Oh, three gene stealers. Oh boy. That's a bad start. My weapon has failed me. It's failed you, yes, but you have one command point. My weapon is jammed. Oh, jammed again, which means I'll have to spend an action point in his turn. Oh well. I can still... Oh, six command points. That will be helpful. Alright, so I get to attack him to set. I hopefully won't die. All right. <laughs> Boom. Got him. Okay. See, that worked out nicely. 
And I'll move up one. And then I will smash this one. I should be good at it because I might... Yeah. So what do I roll? See, he only gets two dice because I was one attacking him. And I get plus two to my die roll. And I can't remember what the shield does, but it does something special. And then I'm just going to go on guard. But I'll use one of my command points, but that's okay. This guy needs to go over here and go on overwatch. Eh, I don't know if I need to overwatch yet. Let's have him move up two more. And then head on over to the other guys. So this guy will fire twice and overwatch. Oh, do I have a limit? How far I can shoot? Oh, I'm, I'm jammed, I'm that's right. If I can kill him. Nope, I'm gonna use one more shot. They come. There we go. Not then I will overwatch and use another command point. And then this guy can join the party. Let's put him up here with the intent of starting to cover that hallway as well. Because really they have to come up. Even if they come up this hallway, they're still going to have to come up like these squares. And eventually I'll plop this guy one square further back. So maybe the assault cannon guy should go the other way. Kind of committed to this way now. And that way if the other defense dies, then at least he can cover this direction as well. So we should be okay. So I'll put him right here. And I don't think... Yeah, Overwatch would be a waste for him. But I'll do it anyways. Because Holy why the heck not? And this guy will turn to just getting ready to cover this room. Cool. Alright. I think we're good. I did do everything with these guys, right? We've got two command points left. I don't think command points help in close combat, but we'll see. So 31 gene sealers left. I'm going to move up one more. Securing position. And then end the turn. So here goes. Tracking Xenos movement, beware. Xenos contacts. Okay, come on. Oh, here comes the gene stealer. It's okay. I'm in guard mode. I will beat you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, and I didn't go in Overwatch. This is gonna end badly for this poor guy over here. That's right, we'll have a strong point in the middle. Oh no. How did that guy die? Let's see, let's go back up the... Oh, I get to re-roll my dice when I'm on... Over, or when I'm on guard. So I roll a 2 plus 2 the first time, and then a 1 plus 2 the second time. Oh, and the Gene Sealer gets one less die when attacking him because of his shield. That's what it is. So all rights, I should have killed a lot more than that. But, uh, yeah, so you're going to move back one. And then you're going to Overwatch. Overwatch and then uh, you're just going to kill as many as you can, and then this group over here is going to have to kill the rest. So you're going to move back one as well. And then go on Overwatch. Order and then we just cross our fingers. But I have a funny feeling this is not going to end very well for a uh, dude. I can't remember his name. Okay. Uh, can you do it? Okay. So far, so good. You know, even if he dies, it's the number that he kills that's important. He's got to kill a few. Oh, it jammed. That's okay. We've got two command points. Oh, he sidled sideways. Okay. So far, so good. Three. Oh, go, oh, buddy. I'll watch him like take out like every single one. That's only three. That's four. Okay. Has he earned his points back yet? That's five. Okay. Oh, and he jammed. Oh, but now it's operation. I had one more command point. And he kills that. Wow. Oh, wait, no, it jammed. Oh, well. He just killed five gene stealers, and I think there was like 30 something in total, so. I think he's okay. Now he's got to make up for the commander who only killed a few things. Only one command point and I can't re-roll it. That is spectacular. That's just awesome. I'm so happy about that. Are you happy about that? I'm happy about that. It's great. There's not even any gene stealers on this side, are there? Nope. No blips. So I don't even need to put these guys on overwatch because that's a long ways away. So it's just you poor, what's your name? Brother Valencio. Valencio. So you're going to back up one while shooting because you can do that. Why didn't you? <gasps> oh no! I forgot to unjam it! Which means I have to use all my command points to put him on Overwatch. 
Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Cheese Steeler's turn. Yeah, oh, oh. Oh no, it jammed. Oh, I'm in trouble. And slice. And, and I'm dead. Okay. Wow. All right. That sucked. How many Gene Steelers are left? And that's a lot of Gene Steelers. They're all coming this way. So we generated six command points. That's really useless on this turn. So 25 Gene Steelers remaining. Okay, we just got to take up positions. What are those positions? Well, they're all coming from that angle. So I think the assault cannon is in order. So yeah, let's just move this guy up. I don't think they're even going to be here anytime soon. And then you're going to face this way. So turns. Yeah, because they're going to take another few turns to get to me. So I just I just got to get in position. Maybe I'll move the assault cannon guy up just so he can like hold them off for longer. No, I don't know. I don't think that'll make a difference. And then this guy will sidle forward. Hey, you move here. And then you guys, Overwatch. you might as well go on Overwatch because I don't think anybody can get there. But they it would just fall. like really suck if I didn't. It's too bad I got six command points on a turn like this. So here we go. Here we go. More Gene Steelers coming in. There's a lot of them coming. Oh, that was so bad. It rolled so poorly with the poor sergeant. Is that all of them? Or is there more on this side too? Yeah, here they come. No overwatch though when they just appear. All right, five command points. Let's kill that one, just in case he's the one that like gets through everything. Nope, he's alive. And there we go. That's right. That's right, 22 gene sealers remaining. I could do this, I could do this. And then everybody else just goes on overwatch. All right, here we go. I did put that one guy in Overwatch that I just shot with, right? I have a funny feeling I forgot to. It's very careless. Look at all those Gene Stealers. So many of them. Why are they coming from that way? They need to surround me. Don't they know how to play Space Hulk? Oh, here comes the one. Finally using the, the side entrance. That'll give me less Overwatch shots against him. All right, five command points. You see, when he comes up here, I only get like two shots. So really what I should do is I should bring this guy up here With all due haste. and then put these guys all on overwatch the enemy will fall before me. so he's on overwatch Death he's on overwatch Lord. and he's on overwatch Work 21 gene sealers can i do it will my dice be good enough the assault cannon guy can take him no problem and he's the one facing the the largest number of them so here we go i say that and then he fails oh wait oh wait was that on one shot he rolled a 3, 2, and a 1. How did that kill one? He kills on a 5+, plus, but he rolled a 3, 2, and a 1. I don't understand. Here we go. Oh. oh. All right, I can take him. I got two guys facing one way. So how many shots did he have? He has eight. Yeah, it took him two shots. He failed that first one. What's going on? Oh, yeah, so yeah. Then he sustained it. Sustained so kill on a 4+, plus, 6, 2, and a 6. So he gets three dice instead of two, and he kills on a five plus and a four plus rather than a six plus and a five plus. All right, you might as well shoot to kill this guy. There we go. Less chances of uh, jamming. I got five command points though for the jams. The enemy will fall before me. Order confirmed. Holding. Holding position. And you can reload because he has two shots, two rounds of ten but um, obviously don't want to reload too early because then you lose all the ones you didn't fire with. Here we go. Can we do it? All right. Oh, lucky so far. What are you firing at? It was, oh, I think they both have to fire just in case one of them jams. Yes, see, no chance. Come on, three dice, one of them has to get a five plus, and if that fails, then the second one's on a four plus. Yeah, see, no problem. Uh, he has limited ammunition, so that's his big disadvantage. Because reloading basically will cost him an entire turn, although unless I get enough command points. If I have to reload the turn that I only get and I only get one command point that turn, then I'm in trouble. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Still lots more to kill, but at this rate, we're doing okay. 
Should just ran them all together to begin with. But you can't really use oh only one command point this turn. Is there any targets anyways? I don't think there are. No. Alright, so you're just gonna go on Overwatch. But we've only got one command point to help us with our Overwatch shots. Stay alert, brothers. So hopefully we do not jam. Securing position. There's really nothing I can do except camp this little spot. Oh, how many shots does it need? I'm wasting my ammo. I think that took two shots as well. It did. A two, two, and a one, then a four, four, and a one. Okay. I think I can do this, though. I think we're okay. See, all it takes is one unlucky turn, though, and then you're dead. Did he survive that? No jams, come on. Thankfully, no jams yet. That's a big lineup of guys. This is where I love the flamethrower, because he could just toast them all in one shot. Okay, five command points. So I'm down to one out of the thing, so I'm going to use four to reload. So I've only got ten shots. Now I can, is it possible that I overheat? I think that's what happens in the second roll. Yeah, assault cannon barrel is now hot and can now malfunction on same three dice. So if I roll triples, it malfunctions. And I don't know what that does. I'm not sure if it's the same as a jam or if it actually like does something worse. I think it actually explodes and everything in the room takes damage. So, uh, yeah. We've got... What's, what's going on here? we got three. All right, here we go. we got three command points. Oh, he survived that first one. That's bad. Four dice, not one of them getting six. No jamming so far. We're good. How are we, what are we down to? I didn't actually... My has failed. You're alright. Just use a command point. Oh, that one's almost there. Whoa, that one got close. Oh no. Come on, guys. You can do this. The other one fires just for good measure. Just to make sure it's actually dead, right? Oh, and we got guys coming from the other side. Okay, so far so good. Didn't have to roll twice. I don't want to waste ammo. But once he's out of ammo, he's just going to have to power fist his way through it, which is not his strong suit. Oh, he missed the first shot. That's the player again. Ugh, this is too much ammo. Actually, I don't actually know how many gene stealers are left. How many gene stealers are left? One gene stealer remaining. I think I got this. Oh, one, one command point generated. So I'm going to put these two on Overwatch. The enemy will fall before me. And then I'll turn this guy around. Just in case things end really badly for those other two guys, which I doubt. Only got one command point, though. There we go. Look at that. The guy fires just for good measure. Da 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 da. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Let's Play Spacehawk. This is Matthew. Happy Wargaming.